And welcome everyone to a March Madness postgame chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Liam Robbins from Minnesota, fresh off a of 75, 57 home win over Michigan. You had 22 and eight, a, a complete 180 from what happened when you guys played in it in Ann Arbor. Um, first off, how do you explain the difference in the way in which this team plays at the barn and on the road? Uh, I, w- I wish I could tell you. I mean, I feel like if we knew, like, there'd be a different result a few of those times. Uh, I mean, we're just staying locked in. You know, we're, we're a pretty mentally tough team, so we're just taking each challenge, like, you know, short-term memory, move on to the next one. But it's really important to defend home court, and we're uh, probably done that so far, but now we got to go get some on the road. I mean, Liam, it really is night and day. I mean, you guys are one of the toughest teams to play at home. You're undefeated at home. You've knocked off, you know, top 15 teams at home. And then when you go on the road, it's a completely different story. So what is it so far? And this is your first season there without Mm -hmm. even obviously the fans, but what is it about the barn that has allowed you guys to play so well? I think it's just pride in defending your home court. Uh, Like I said before, I mean, we we don't want to lose here. Like this is our home court. We don't want anyone to come in and, you know, beat us and run us off our home court. This like, you know, like obviously we take pride in our road games as well. But like, I mean, there's really just a sense of pride, like, you know, you, you know, you want to protect home court and, you know, we're really determined to do that. All right. So the last matchup, obviously Hunter Dickinson probably got the best of you. He had a really good game. I would say it was the reverse uh, in this game. And also they were coming off absolutely destroying Wisconsin uh, in their last game. They were up 40 at one point, ended up winning, I think by over 20. Um, How do you explain the manner in which you guys were able to defend them after the kind of offensive performance they had just a few days ago against Wisconsin? Yeah, um, our coaching staff made some great adjustments for us. Um, and we were really, you know, really dedicated to making sure we executed properly this time, really getting into them, making sure they can't run their sets. Because uh, when they get to run their sets, I mean, you've seen their past 13 games. I mean, they run teams off the court. So, you know, we were really uh, focused on pressuring them, getting to our spots, and not letting them get to theirs. And, you know, you saw the difference in it today. Now, defensively for you guys, um, as I said, uh, you had a really good matchup, but he got the best of you, I would argue, the first time. You got the best of him the second time. What adjustments did you make defensively to have the better game this time against Hunter and Michigan? Um, yeah, I mean, he's a really good player. Uh, with him, you know, it's just, it, uh, you know, I'm here to um, make sure I sat on his left hand. He's got a really good left, but, uh, you know, he can go both ways. So, I mean, we, we had a double coming for him, you know, really made him kick it out and uh, not let him get – to the spot that was the main thing run him off his spot so he's not catching it close to the hoop because when he catches it there I mean you saw when he played us in Ann Arbor you know, he's tough to beat you know listen Liam um, one thing that's been really special about this group is the, the ability for this group to come together when you guys had not played you know really as a unit before I mean you came from Drake uh, Brandon Johnson came from Western Michigan Booth Gotch came from Utah um, obviously Marcus Carr and Gabe Kausher had been there before uh, but you know, these main pieces had not played together. Why do you think you guys were able to mesh so quickly? Um, I, I give a lot of credit to that, to our, our three captains, uh, as well as our coaching staff, uh, Gabe Kalsher, uh, Eric Curry, and Marcus Carr. They really, you know, brought us in, showed us what we want to do. And then me, Booth, and uh, Brandon were really, you know, eager to learn, as well as Jay Mash, who's a freshman, and all the other new guys. Uh, we just wanted to help them win. And, you know, they were great in, you know, showing us how uh, Minnesota plays. And so, you know, when everyone's, you know, working towards one goal, you know, it's easy to, you know, match quickly. All right. So what's it like playing when your uncle's on the staff, Ed Conroy? Yeah, uh, that's, that's very uh, fun for me. You know, I have my cousin on the bench as well. So obviously, you know, it's funny, you know, like, you know, when I mess up, you know, he's the first one to yell at me, but you know, like he's also, you know, the first one to instill confidence in me as well. So it's been really special. And, you know, that's one of the main reasons I came here. So, you know, I've just been enjoying every minute of it. Hey Liam, I got to ask you your former team, it's undefeated. I know they're on pause right now, but they're atop the valley of 13 and 0. Um, I got to believe you still obviously, you know, have, you know, friendships on that team and, and I'm sure from afar, maybe rooting them to do well, but how do you explain you leave as talented as you are and they're undefeated atop the valley and having a great year. Uh, that's pretty easy to explain. They have a great coaching staff there and, you know, obviously have some really good friendships there. And I mean, they have a really talented team. So, I mean, it's no surprise, you know, I've watched a lot of their games, you know, you know, they play hard and like, you know, that's something like, you know, when I was there, like that was a big thing. You just, they, you want to play hard and, you know, they take pride in what they do. And obviously, you know, they're showing, you know, 
the nation what they can do. So I'm really happy for them. And obviously, you know, wishing them all the best because, you know, I enjoyed my two years there. And, uh, you know, I'm cheering for my teammates, uh, my former teammates to, you know, keep doing what they're doing. Well, that's great to hear. And one last thing, Liam, um, you're experiencing the Big Ten. I know we've talked before about this, but just for, for uh, the nation here to fully grasp what you have to go through game after game in the post in this league, how would you explain it? Uh, I mean, I heard one term like gauntlet. I feel like that would be the best term. I mean, it, I mean, like, you know, Hunter's a really talented player. So you go from playing Hunter, and then you go play Luca Garza, who's obviously, you know, national player of the year, like, you know, really talented, really talented big. And then you go right back to Hunter. So, I mean, and then you, know, you got Kofi Coburn, uh, Michael Potter and Nate Reavers in there. Um, EJ Liddell, Ohio State, you know, Michigan State's so talented. So, I mean, obviously, you know, it's just night after night, but, you know, that's why, you know, obviously I came to Minnesota playing the Big Ten and, you know, go up against the best. Well, Liam, you're off to having a great start. Uh, we're still only in the middle of January, and there's a lot to, uh, to obviously continue here in the Big Ten. Congrats on a great win over Michigan. All right, thank you.